Following a deadly wrong way crash on a dark highway and new pictures are showing us the local family who lost their lives on their way home. I just I can't even imagine. I can't imagine his pain right now. Officers tell us the family couldn't escape an out of control driver. Good evening. I'm Steve Large and I'm Adrian Moore tonight. Friends and family are trying to wrap their minds around this tragedy. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live in Woodland tonight at CHB headquarters with the new developments. Lamore. Adrian and Steve, the family was only about a half an hour away from home and CHP tells us a driver going the wrong way on the interstate crashed into their car head on, killing himself and the family, everyone but the stepfather. In pictures, Sofia Ramirez and her two teenage daughters are either smiling or goofing around, qualities their friends cherish now that they're gone. Oh man, I'm speechless. Like they were so nice, they were so... Wow, best people you could ever meet. Good friends gathered at his sister's high school in Arbuckle, a small town near Woodland where Alyssa Santiago was a cheerleader. Her little sister Brenda just celebrated her 15th birthday with a big quinceanera. Alyssa was only a junior in high school and she had a whole nother year and Brenda was a freshman. She had she, four years of high school to go to. She both of them wanted to go to college and you know, I mean they still had a lot to go go for it. But officers say the family couldn't escape the path of an out of control driver going the wrong way on Interstate 505 Saturday night. Even a CHP officer reportedly spotted the suspect, but it was too late. He saw it. He immediately tried to take care of it. He put it out and and just tried to follow the guy in, in, in the vehicle, you know, and uh, it's just it's, it's hard. It's hard. I just I can't even imagine. I can't imagine his pain right now. Connie Colsa plans to visit the girl's stepdad, the only survivor. For now, she's helping out at the Umqua Bank in Arbuckle, where people are dropping off donations to help pay for funeral expenses. Our town is in mourning. We've lost three members of our community. She says even strangers are coming together to cope with the loss of three women who left an impact on so many lives. And more proof to the power of a small, tight-knit town. This is the GoFundMe page raised where $9,810 has been raised for those three women. That's half of the $20,000 that they're going for. All that in less than 24 hours since their death. Just incredible to see the generosity. Just a heartbreaking story, Lamore. Do we have any word yet on the cause of this crash? CHP tells us they're still looking into whether alcohol was a factor, but that's still being investigated. And of course, they'll get new information as soon as those autopsies are re revealed. All right, Lamore Abrams reporting live for us tonight. Lamore, thank you.